Hey guys, my name is Kenzie. I mean, y'all probably already know that. I was born in a small town in Pennsylvania. I remember some of the moments we had in that little house, the most I could before we moved, being I was only three years old. Unwrapping Christmas presents, family dinners, and stupid arguments with my sisters. My mom always has described me as a fairly easy child since I was born. I didn't cry a lot, and eating any type of food would knock me into a deep sleep instantly. Always smiling and doing stupid things to make others do the same. And honestly, not much has changed. After a couple years, my dad got offered a new job, so we moved from Pennsylvania to Kentucky, and I loved it there. I would play outside from 7 in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. My parents would literally have to force me and my sister to go inside and eat something. My mom also put me in dance when I was four, one of the best things that I've enjoyed doing when I was little, and even now. Something about going on stage was just so fun to me, and it felt like I was bound to do it. Then after being in Colorado for around six to seven years, we moved to Colorado because my dad joined the military. Oh, hello there. I'm Mackenzie Drake. We didn't see you there. Hi. <laughs> and she's my little sister. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about my normal life? No. And in this day and age, I got a phone when I went to middle school. So much negativity always stems from young kids having a phone, but it was honestly a huge outlet to my awkward self. I would download stupid little apps like Video Star and iMovie dupes, and I would make movies with my little Samsung of my sister, filming productions as I thought it was. It then came music videos and little skits, and it was honestly so fun when I was little. And then I downloaded a little app called YouTube. Back to when it looked like a television, and barely anyone even knew what it was. I would watch Michelle Fawn, Ryan Higa, O2L, Superwoman, Bethany Moda, My Life as Ava, all of that. I could have swore I was a Bethany Moda in the making. Remember when she had an Aeropostale collection? Bro, I really wanted that. My family's too poor for that. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> so on May 29th, 2014, I decided to upload my first YouTube video. Back then, I called my channel My Life as Mac. A little embarrassing. I made tags, DIYs, beauty hacks, makeup tutorials. I was a very committed 12 year old. I remember I would sneak my mom's laptop to edit and even her camera until 6 a.m. I was up so many nights slaving away to see that 10 subscriber gain every couple months. It felt like I was on top of the world. I didn't care who was watching, the editing, the hours of filming and scripting. The whole process was just the best experience to me. Normally people ask, why'd you start a YouTube or how'd you even start? And most of the time I say I was just bored. But now I realize it was so much more than that. The little 13 year old girl I was, I was insecure. Filming videos and taking time to upload was in a way a form of self care. It felt like as if every video gave me a boost of confidence, whether there was positive or negative. I went two whole years seeing no huge gain in views or subscribers. And to be honest, I didn't even remember that part at all. I enjoyed making content so much, the numbers weren't even a factor. Every single time I would hit the publish button and edit my little stupid DIY videos on my crappy HP laptop in 2015. It was enjoyable for me. And the idea of this platform making a whole future for me was so unheard of. Seeing the very little feedback I did get made my heart so happy. 
Then through the next two years, I made back to school videos and vlogs and more and more and more people found my channel. Then on July 10th, 2016, I uploaded my wish haul. It was my first, I guess you would say viral video. And now it's at 170,000 views. I don't know why people clicked this video because pff, I look stupid, but. And when I first started uploading videos, I was 12. And here, it was the summer before my freshman year of high school and I finally saw some growth with my little family on here. It took two whole years. So if you're thinking of starting a channel, yes, you could blow up and gain super quickly, which is very rare, but it's also possible to see no numerical gain for years. So if you do choose to make a YouTube channel, make sure the passion is there. So at the start of my freshman year, my get ready for me started to get more views and I started making clothing haul. The start of a whole era. And then I hit 1K and then 10,000 and then 20,000 and it just kept growing. On my channel, I feel that my clothing hauls are the most influential, which I never thought would be. And these kinds of videos were and still are my most successful videos. I knew from when I was little, I wasn't the skinniest or the shortest. And making try on hauls actually started helping people, which I never thought would happen. I feel that a big part of my confidence is being a dancer, and it's kind of helped me grow to be comfortable with my body. Then when I got into middle school, I started watching body positive YouTubers like Loey Lane, Sarah Ray Vargas, Learning to Be Fearless, and I found my body to be normal and more than enough. The confidence and self-love definitely came more when I reached high school, but just as other YouTubers have done for me, I've been doing for thousands of you guys showing that you can wear that outfit, you can be a dancer, and you can be a cheerleader no matter what size you are. Crazily, I've grown supporters from everywhere, the UK, Mexico, Australia, and even more. And we've grown into this huge family, and I even messaged some of you guys like we've known each other for years. The way you guys have appreciated my content and supported me through all the ups and downs is so fulfilling. Then on August 4th, 2019, at 11 p.m., Five years later, I finally hit 100,000 subscribers. One of the biggest accomplishments of my life. YouTube has literally changed my life. You guys have even drugged me out of my worst deep depression in middle school and has helped me grow into the woman I am now. I wanna thank my family and everyone who has clapped for my little stupid accomplishments like hitting 100 subscribers when no one else did. And mainly thank you to all my supporters who've been here on this journey since the beginning and watched me grow. I don't entirely know what my future has in store for me, but I know that you guys will be there on the ride with me and God is on my side, as well as my cat Bootsy. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video.